Today we're showing you how I feed my baby parrots. This is a Senegal parrot. He's two months old and he's full of mischief. When he was younger he was so quiet. He never used to go anywhere. <clears throat> and he just likes to eat his food and go to sleep. But now he just likes to run around. So firstly you'll need a few equipment. You'll need a bowl <clears throat> to put the baby in. You'll also need a secondary bowl to put your formula to mix it with water of about 40 degrees C. Uh, what you can do, you can either check it with a thermometer or check it with your fingers to see if it's appropriate and not too hot for the bird. Also you would need a spoon or a, a pipette. Um, for the more inexperienced breeders I recommend a spoon because what tends to happen is you feed them with a pipette and the bird bobs up and down in which the pipette might go too far down into the so far um, into the crop in which you puncture the crop. Um, also you will need the baby formula of course. Um, I use NutriBird. To be honest I'm not too keen on other products. This is the one I mainly use um, mainly because when I mix it it dissolves really well with the water and there's no lumps. Okay. Um, so first of all I'll put you to side but I'm pretty sure you'll jump around. Get get your formula. I usually use a spoon or a bit more. Mix it in there. I think I'll need more. Put another spoon. Give it a good stir. Make sure there's no undissolved formula. And also, I recommend not microwaving the water because you tend to get hot spots which could burn the crop of the bird. So I just use warm tap water until I get the right consistency of temperature. If you have more than one chick, uh, I recommend get a secondary bowl. Hold on. Get a secondary bowl and put the formula inside with water, warm water, so that the formula will keep warm. Because after a few feedings of birds, uh, the temperature will decrease and then the, your last chick might not like it because... Stop jumping at you. The last chick you come to feed might not like the formula because it's too cold. Okay, so as you can see, my formula is it's fairly thick but not too liquidy. It's alright, it's not, it's not solid. Okay, all right, so what you want to do, if you're using the pipette, Simply place the pipette on the left side of the bird and you'll squirt into the right. Pretty much because the es esophagus is on the right and in the center is the windpipe. And if you get formally into the windpipe, you could kill the bird. Okay, so what I like to do is prop up my former so it's on an angle. Get a good amount of former. Hold the bird. I like to hold the head firmly to prevent the pipette going too far into the crop. Place it on the left side. And and slowly just let him eat at his own rate. And pretty much just repeat until he's full. Don't want to squirt too much in his mouth. You have to wait for him to eat it. Little by little.
It's time to get full now. Usually takes her about five minutes to feed him. Okay. Once you think he's had enough, check his crop if it's filled. If it's got a decent amount, he's okay. That's it, then you're ready to go back into his incubator to keep warm. Alright guys, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to keep in tune with this guy. More videos coming up of him growing. And also I'll be doing a weaning, weaning video for when he's finished with the baby formula. Okay?